Yeah, Jenny, Team Rubicon has had boots on the ground in the Augusta area since shortly after the storm hit, and today it helped out one veteran who needed it greatly. While Edward Skinner was at a doctor's appointment Monday, his daughter Tina organized Team Rubicon to remove fallen trees from his property. I said, uh, my dad needs some help. He's a 90-ish, close to 90-year-old veteran. And uh, he got out and cut a little tree in the front yard and his hand was just purple. So it scared me and I told him to stop, Daddy, don't cut anymore, we'll get you help. The help was well received. Oh, he's very happy. He's excited. He's called me uh, when I first told him that I had him on the list. He called me like uh, three times before they ever called me. Oh, you think they're coming out today? For Tina, it means the world that the organization is giving back to her dad, who served more than 20 years in the Army. It's a little bit beyond words. It, it kind of shakes me up because it's people helping people, sticking together military looking out for military mm -hmm. yeah, it's very important mm -hmm. and we're very thankful and blessed that they're taking the time to come and help us. Jim Simmons, an Army veteran, knew he had to join Team Rubicon after learning about it. I've been involved with military and veterans my whole life and I saw the component of TR's mission in terms of serving the veteran population through doing disaster response and I was immediately enamored. He says helping out Skinner on Veterans Day makes it extra special. We're working at a home here shortly that uh, is owned by a 90-year-old veteran. His son is a 20-year Army retiree, and helping them today feels really good. And Team Rubicon is supposed to be in Augusta for a couple more weeks. If you need help with debris or you want to join the cause, you can go to its website or WJBF.com. Live in Hepzibah, Hina Latir, WJBF News Channel 6.